Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is me again, the Stonk Dad, and we have Blaze, my puppy, here today. So it is um, pretty late, so hopefully you guys don't get mad at me. I'm going to post this regardless, um, but we're going to be doing another recap of what went on today with the data and the market today. What a day. So let's get right to the charts. Okay, so again, if you guys are familiar with uh, how I do these reviews or just like the back tests of uh, what happened during the day, um, we're going to be sharing my insight um, every single day in Discord. I uh, write up a little um, excerpt of what I think happens when new data comes in as far as market net flow as, and game exposure. I like to jot down my notes and my thought process on what I think is going on with the data um, during uh, intraday. So follow along with me as we go through this. So call flow um, right off the bat started to go up very, very rapidly. You can see that um, the green line here, the call uh, line started to go up pretty quick and uh, even quicker within, um, I mean, 15 minutes after the market opened at 645 for me, um, calls were already at 20 million. And if you guys are no beginner to market flow, you know that um, if flow is that bullish and that early in the morning, you know it's going to be a crazy day. And what do you know? That is exactly what happened today. Um, but before I get ahead of myself on what happened with game exposure and market flow, uh, let's talk about the, the first parts of the day first, okay? So right off the bat, um, 15 minutes of the market, I can tell that this is going to be a crazy day. 20 million net already at open. This is super bullish. That's my first thing that I say at market open. Um, one thing that did concern me um, was that 489 GEX level was super negative, um, but Usually when I see flow that bullish, I, I already tend to be leaning bullish. So I like going with the flow. So uh, whenever I see very bullish flow, I don't really look for negative levels to the downside unless it breaks a certain level, right? So if we come on over here to the um, price action chart, you can see that we opened at around 490 or sorry, 489.50 or so down here. And uh, since we broke above that 490 level, that was pretty much my go-to and if we held that 490, we weren't going to see 489. And uh, convergence is also the uh, indicator that I use to kind of persuade me to go long or short. So in this case, um, we're very, very bullish um, with flow, super, super bullish. And we have green convergence. And we had green convergence for a good majority of the day, um, just so you guys know. Um, but again, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, it was a great day, guys, to say the least. So uh, I'm a little bit excited about that. Okay, so um, I did get into some long entries with everyone. Um, I, I don't think I put it in this full channel, but I did put it in my alert channel over here. Um, but I did get into some longs. I wrote it to about 491 here, and then I got out, and I wish I would have held those, obviously, because you could see how high the market went today. But I'm not complaining about green at all. Um, but... As we continue on with the day, about an hour, 50 minutes after the market opened, you can see that call flow is still curling up. It was at about 35 million at this point, which is insane, insane. Um, and I did mention that NVIDIA got super destroyed with uh, option sweeps um, at the morning too, at 7.51 in the morning. Um, and NVIDIA had a crazy day as well. So some things to note here is um, I put 493 as a positive level. So 493 was going to be our resistance, and it was probably going to have a hard time breaking above that if we did uh, get to that level. You can see that we were uh, we actually got above it, and flow was at about 60 million at this point, which is insane. Um, but something that I did want to note here is the GEX levels. So later on in the day, <clears throat> once we broke that 493 level, I was like, okay, this is going to be pretty crazy, and we should just fly straight to 495. Um, and GEX kind of gave me that indication that it was going to do that. So this blue indicator here, you can see that it was trending down. Um, it did have this 489 level, so remember that level. It was uh, negative at the beginning, um, but it started to curl back up, and there wasn't very much movement at that uh, at that 489 level at all. So I usually look at the ones that are changing currently. So in this case, 495 was going negative, 
And that was going to be our level that we, we were looking at for the upside. Um, and then also 497 started to go negative too, but we never quite got to 497, but we did fly straight to 495 and even to 496. And I think 496 was um, a little bit later. So here's 495 hit. This is when that hit. Um, and then here you can see that call flow was at about 80 million at this point. It's freaking insane. Uh, let's see. I don't think I... I sadly didn't make a, a post towards the end of the day because I forgot to post about Gex, but um, that 495 level did hit that negative and then 496 started to go negative as well and we eventually did hit that um, as you can see here um, by this chart. I said a 496 level hit, freaking insane. <laughs> and then also something that I do want to note is um, I do use this tool uh, a little bit, usually on Fridays, it plays out. So usually when there's a lot of call deltas um, on the dealer diary, you can see that um, there's a ton of call deltas and usually dealers have to be delta neutral, right? So if there's a lot of call deltas, they have to hedge by shorting the underlying. And that's exactly what happened uh, at close. You can see on this chart, um, usually the last 30 minutes is when it happens. The last couple of times it didn't work out, which sucks. Um, but actually today it was quite interesting. We actually did see a little bit of a sell-off at close. You can see that we uh, kind of topped here at uh, 1230 in the afternoon, which is 30 minutes before the market closes for me. And we had a nice uh, sell-off here, about a $2 move to the downside at close. So yeah, uh, that was the whole shebang about data. I hope you guys followed me. Uh, let me know if I'm rambling too much in the comments or if you guys even understand what I'm saying or if I need to do a little bit more beginner-friendly recaps or videos going over this data specifically uh, in more specifics. But this was just a little the lowdown of what happened today, Friday the 2nd, I believe. Yeah, Friday the 2nd of February. Uh, crazy day, guys. All-time highs on SPY. Uh, QQQ2, I believe, all-time highs, and Meta, and all these freaking tech stocks are going bananas. NVIDIA, Meta, Amazon, uh, great days for all these stocks. Um, but yeah, guys, that was the recap for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one.